Sparks a full year since the deadly fire in Lahaina that destroyed homes and claimed more than 100 lives. There are signs, though, of progress and some rebuilding happening in West Maui, but there's still a lot of work to do. Our Casey Lund is live in Lahaina this morning with more. Morning, Casey. Yeah, good morning. And, and today is a really important day as Lahaina public school students head back to class. So we've been talking with teachers and also parents about what this means. And, and as you said, there, there are signs of progress, uh, recovery and rebuilding. You can see some of the homes, the lots behind me that have been cleared, uh, even some framing going up uh, at one of those properties. I, I want to talk to Courtney Lazo with us. Uh, she is a parent of a Lahaina Luna high school student, two actually. Yes. Uh, Ezekiel's with us. And who else do we have here? Uh, we have my son, Henry. Yeah, oh, three months old. Thank you so much for taking a little time before you head up the hill to talk yeah. to us. And uh, before we talk to getting back to uh, to school, um, can you just tell us a little bit about um, you know what you see behind you here? I know that you have Ohana that had homes here. You lost your home. Mm -hmm. um, can you walk us through where we're at here? Yes. Yeah, so we're at the Kilauea Malka Park up Lahaina Luna, and um, actually right behind us is my grandma's home that burned in the fire. Um, we have so much Ohana behind us and lots that you know, burnt down that we're staring at, but um, at least right behind us at my grandma's house, it's one of the first homes that burned and uh, one of the first videos I seen of the fire that day. How are you guys doing a, a year later? You're living up country? We are. Um, so a commute now to school, are you concerned about that? Are you concerned about transportation to and from school for these guys that are probably not driving age just yet? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, we're driving them to school right now. We're hoping that um, Roberts or the DOE reinstates at Roberts Hawaii route for the high school students that they just pulled yesterday um, just to help with traffic and the parents that can't drive their kids to the school. Um, yeah, I want to ask you too, Courtney, uh, you're, you're uh, part of Lahaina Strong, uh, that group has been like a, really a pillar for so many people, organizing donations, organizing uh, volunteers and things. Um, but as you get ready to send Ezekiel and his brother back to school today, um, what's on your mind? Is this uh, a difficult day, a happy day for them? Uh, I feel like it's more happy than anything. Um, it's a chance for our kids to be together amongst their peers and just take their mind off of what happened. I know that the school sits on top of Lahaina Luna Road and they look down at their town, but um, I'm hoping that this is a, a good healing opportunity for them to just be around community. I think community is the most important. Um, and once the kids all leave the schools, they end up on different points of the island, different parts, and you know, it's, it's a little, it's isolating, I'd like to think. Um, and last question, I, I know that um, it is a difficult time for everybody and there's still such a long road ahead. Did you folks ever contemplate leaving Lahaina uh, or are you dug in? I mean, it's difficult to stay here. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I understand that emotionally and financially. Yeah, uh, we are not living in Lahaina right now. Unfortunately, there was nowhere for us to stay after the fire. We got pushed out, but we definitely re plan to return the second we can. Yeah. Any sure. prospect on when that will be? It's hard to say right now, right? It's hard to say. Yeah. 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 Courtney Lazo with us this morning. I appreciate you giving us a little perspective. I know there's a lot on your mind, especially tomorrow, uh, with that being the official one-year mark of all that uh, really tragic uh, things that happened here for you folks and, and we and we appreciate your time Ezekiel hope you have a good first day back to class guys thank you so much a uh, reminder that uh, that's the public school students they have their first day back today tomorrow the DOE did make the decision to give Lahaina public school students the day off a lot of stuff happening around the community to mourn those that lost uh, come together as a community to remember what's happened a year ago guys we'll send things back to you for now